Hey guys, welcome back to another bloody beautiful day here in Fiji. It has been blowing 25 knots for like 15 days. So this is the first time I've been out for a while and I am on a fishing mission. Paddling out to the boat in the kayak this morning, I, I felt like a bloody Swiss army knife with the amount of stuff I had hanging off it. So we got jigging gear, we got top water popping gear, we've got trolling gear, we've got everything we need to try and catch us some dinner. So first little spot here, nice little reef where I'm hoping to, uh, to get something on the top water. Um, if it's eating size, we're keeping it. If it's too big, we're letting it go. All right, pop her on, see how we go. That was encouraging. First cast, a little hit. Small fish, but that means there's something here. All right, last cast. Shark, 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 shark. Didn't want to get that. Okay, let's move. Man, it's beautiful out here now. It's a little bit uh, puffy on my way out here. And uh, I just did a little bit of trolling on the way here. And I caught something. It's really weird, right? I caught something and wasn't really confident in what it was, so I, I let it go. It was only fairly small. Um, and then my neighbor uh, came out to do a little bit of spearing. And uh, he was just right near me where I just was stuffing around with the lure and all that. And then uh, I went over to him before I came over here to see how he's going. I said, you get anything? And he goes, oh yeah, I've got this. He, he, he seems to think it's a small dog tooth tuna. Um, and it was the one that I shot, uh, the one that I hooked. He shot the fish that I hooked. So it definitely was not that fish's day today. He should have stayed home in bed. Because he's been hooked and now he's been shot. Alright, let's have a little jig. See if we can pull something up off of the bottom. Perfect. That's what we love. One drop, one fish. Nice little eating size trevally. We may even do a bit of a catch and cook with that one, I reckon. Do that on the grill, on the fire. Awesome. Mission accomplished.
All right, so earlier today when I was jigging, cameras both went dead. Uh, so I went back, plugged the, the cameras in for charging and uh, you know, had lunch with the kids, all that sort of stuff. And then it got a little bit blowy, so I thought, ah, stuff, I'll go tomorrow morning, we'll get out early tomorrow morning and, and finish the fishing mission. Um, but the wind's just dropped off a little bit, still a bit choppy, but not really blowing. Uh, so I just came out for a bit of a, just a trawl mainly, because this is what I was after. Exactly that, a nice Spanish mackerel. So amazing. Couldn't ask for much better than that. A nice Spanish mackerel, amazing eating fish. All right, so I have been so excited to make this dish for you guys for a couple of reasons. One, to show you something and blow your mind if you've never seen this before, but two, to actually eat it because it's one of my favorite, It's pretty. I think it's pretty much my favorite thing to eat here in Fiji, um, and that is their traditional kokonda. Um, so it's like a raw, sort of like a cold fish, not like a soup, um, I don't know, it's weird, you'll see along the way. So. We we get the fish. Um, obviously, the Spanish mac that I got the other day. Um, what I when I do something like this, I, I freeze it um, and then defrost it um, because because we're not cooking it. If there are any parasites in there, you want to kill those off. So freezing it will do that. Um, so it has to be fresh, obviously. Fresh, freeze it, defrost it, cut it into like little cubes, which we're doing right now. Um, and then we're going to go collect some coconuts and take you through the whole process from start to finish. It's the first time that I've ever done this. So we've got the help of our awesome neighbor, Avi. So she's told us what to do from this early stage. Um, so I'm going to take you through this and then we're going to catch up with her. She's going to take us through the rest. So we want to cut it into small cubes like this. Chuck it in the bowl. All right, so we have all of the Spanish Mac chopped up into small little cubes, ready to go. Now I gotta start juicing a ton of these into there. So these are like the lemons we have in Fiji. They're sort of like cross between a lime and a lemon. So they're green on the outside, but they're like yellow on the inside. And they're wicked, I love them. All right, lemon juice. covered so now what we do is we put that in the fridge making sure it's all covered and then that will be there for a few hours and that flesh will go like an opaque sort of poached color yummy all right now now we're just gonna go grab some coconuts and we've got one of our workers Pelly walking around collecting a few now so we might get a few off the ground maybe if they if they've dropped or a few up in the trees let's go do it We had so much rain last night. Crazy, like this week. We've got a little river in the front of our house here. Tinny is sitting so low. I think I better paddle out and uh, get the water out of it before it sinks. <laughs> All right, another job to do. Look at this, overnight. Just 
chewed up. So the coconuts that we use for Kakonda, um, they're all on the ground. They're the older coconuts that have the nice thick meat and not much water in it. But I love drinking coconuts as well, so we're gonna get a couple of green ones out the tree. Okay. Okay. Just about jump up with the pain knife. <laughs> there we go. Kelly's a ninja with the bamboo. <laughs> Chop the top off a few of these. Drink them. Oh, yeah. Drink these ones? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So I'm not sure if I've introduced you guys yet to our best friend here in uh, Fiji. This is Sala Nieta. Sala lives with Bula. us here. Bula, Sala. And this is Peli, her partner. Bula, Bula Peli. Bula. Peli has hands that are fireproof and stronger than <laughs> a, a metal clamp. Unbelievable. So this is what we're going to do. We, we are going to husk. We're going to husk some coconuts on this big steel spike that's been cut on a bit of an angle. And then, you know, when I was a kid, I never thought that like, you know, you see coconuts like this and I never thought that coconuts like that end up like coconuts like this. Like I just couldn't put two and two together as a kid. So if you're a kid and you're watching this, this is where they actually come from. So the palm tree has the coconuts in them. They look like this. And then we husk them on the spike. <laughs> and if you're ever in a husking competition, never, never go against Salah. You will lose. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Beautiful. Then. Nice. Cool. There's one. So if you ever find yourself stranded on an island and you need to get into a coconut, I see heaps of people on YouTube just making an absolute career out of getting into a coconut. And I hopefully don't look stupid here, but you've got like this end and then you've got the pointy end. Yeah. So you want to be sort of towards that end but further into the, towards the middle. So obviously we've got a metal spike here. It doesn't have to be a metal spike. It could be a rock or a stick. Oh, go Michael. Yeah, that's good. Good idea. Still not as good as Sala. Sala's no, no, like no, world no. champion. That's good, that's good. good. Because Sid learn, eh? And yeah. the spike's going long way in. Yeah. Eh, Pekka? Sid yeah. learn, eh? That's Should good. Learn, yeah. yeah. You never know when it will save your life. <laughs> you stay here when you die. Eh, Pekka? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to stay here too then. <laughs> okay, look at this. Yeah, see? Yeah. Beautiful nice. coconut yeah. in there. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Matai. 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 And you, Pekka? Huh? You Me? No, try. I'll oh. hurt myself. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so, when you can hear, when you can hear that, there's like, so when a coconut's green, they got like a really thin layer of flesh and heaps of liquid. And as they go brown, that flesh gets thicker and the liquid gets less. But that's still got a fair bit of liquid in there, but that's gonna be wicked. Mm. We, we'll get the cane knife now, we'll cut this open and we'll show you the insides. All right, so we I always use the, like, the back edge so you don't stuff up your knife. Don't chop your hand off. Look at that. Amazing. Fresh, beautiful coconut, ready to scrape and ready to drink. Oh yeah, baby. 
But see how it's thick? Mango, mango. See how you got thick coconut there? What we'll do is we'll cut the ones we're going to drink open and I'll show you the difference. All right, so now getting into a green coconut. See, if I go like that, you can't hear anything. So that means it's like chock a block full of liquid. So we use a K knife. This one is not so sharp, so it might take me a little bit. But the opposite to husking it, husking when you're going this end and then further back, when you're getting into it to drink, you go the other end and you just chop off until you get back to the coconut. There's the coconut, hard bit. So again, I use the back. Sort of got splashed a bit there. Hey. Somebody's there. So, can we open it up and say, see how the flesh is, like it's full of water and the flesh is like really thin and soft. Rubber. Yeah, not hard. So this tastes wicked too. That's wicked in smoothies and stuff. And you know the other thing that I make with this that the kids love is ice cream. So I get this, I scrape it all out, freeze it, so it goes like so the flesh is frozen because the rub it's a bit rubbery, right? So get it all hard and frozen, and then put it in the neutral bullet. And then if you want to make it sweet or something, you even put a bit of condensed milk or something in it. And then like this is usually that up with condensed milk when it's frozen and it comes like wicked coconut ice cream. But that, that's awesome. Let's pour it into a glass. All right. Yeah, baby. Doesn't get much fresher, cleaner, pure than that. <laughs> okay, so the next step after we've husked them and split them open is we start to scrape them. We want to get the flesh out because we want to make coconut cream, like real organic, natural coconut cream grown from the garden. So Salah here is uh, sitting on the little tool that we use and we have the little coconut tool? and the bowl underneath and then we've got Gracie trying to hang out to get some. Gracie! Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Now start. Scrap the coconut in Fiji. You know that? The Mike and Rebecca here? Okay. Okay. Start. Start. Competition. We can have it. <laughs> 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 okay. Salonetta, what do we do now? Don't make it hard, otherwise, otherwise no, it break. Air. Only do it slowly. Like. So we pound it. Yeah, after that we take it up and do it nicely. I feel like the gods must be crazy working with the coke bottle. Yeah, they can smile, I think. Yeah, they're doing this <laughs> well. So, what did Fijians use before the glass bottle? Huh? To do this, before the, before you had the glass wood. bottle? Wood. Wood? Wood. There. Wood, eh? This one. Yeah. Because soft. No, your coconut soft. Coconut soft? Yeah. Is that a bit harder? Because air, like this. Good, yes. <laughs> so, Pelly did a better job, did he? Huh? This is Pelly's. Oh, that's for belly. Yeah. Oh, this fine, yeah? Yeah. Woo! Wow! <laughs> 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 Alright, next step. Yeah, put it inside. You can twist there eh? because you're the man, yeah? Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> yeah. We need Pelly back. Yeah. Bring, bring back the muscle. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Put it inside. So we put, so you hold the Sulu? Yeah. How much? Only three. 
Three handfuls? Yeah. So then I hold this. Yeah. Make it hard. Make it hard. Yeah, hard. And then squeeze it into there. Okay. Make it hard. Go. Bye. Go. You can make your... Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Yeah, make it hard. No water when we make the coconda. It's the pure. Pure? Yeah. True. Coconut cream. Yeah. False. Yeah. What's one in Fijian? Dua. Dua. Rua. Rua. Tolu. 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 To. To. Lu. Tolu. Rua. Dua. No. Dua. Dua. Rua. Tolu. Am I doing okay or not? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, so we're down at our neighbor's place here and we're in that little guest house called Tropical Splendor. If you're ever looking for a place to stay in Fiji, uh, look these guys up. Awesome little guest cottage here. And we've got uh, Sala, who you've already met. Obviously Rebecca and uh, our neighbor, Avi, and they're starting to get the Kakonda together. All right. And we've got a whole heap of kids coming along for the ride. All right, Rebecca, that? what are you doing? All right, so we are cutting some tomato. The ingredients are tomato, shallots, and spring onion, sorry, coriander, and we've got now this. So this you can see been, how it's been marinated. So it's been sitting for a few hours now. In the lime. See how it goes like opaque, sort of? Cooking, cooking. And then we've got our so coconut. Good. All under the watchful eye of Avi. Yes. Hello, Avi. I'm looking Hello. forward to learning. <laughs> Showing us exactly how to do this. I can't believe how much work goes into Fijian meals. Like the good ones. Oh my God, this has been hours out of the day. Like seriously. Like uh, it's, Kakonda it's and, and Lovo. So much work in a Lovo when you do oh, it. Oh yeah. But then after that, oh, when yeah. it's cool. It's all mm. amazing. <laughs> Is that right? Is that Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, yeah. My mouth is watering already. So how long do you normally leave this? Usually I do mine like in the morning. Yeah. And then like if eat it for dinner, like yeah. So, so do it in the morning and it sits yeah, all day? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that's been like that since about 20 to 11 this morning. Okay. Oh. 11, 12, 1, Oh yeah, that's two. fine. That's yeah, three at, hours? at least two, three hours, it's fine. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Because you can see, you see the flesh, it started to turn white. Yes. What you want. Yeah. And then what part of the spring onion? All of them, whole thing. Yeah, it's just beautiful on top with the red and the green. Mm. All right, so what next? Um, then you um, put the fish in. You just yeah. scoop them out. Did you take the there. lime juice? I, I just no, I, I just add the the fish, the fish in, and then you mix it. And then after that, you you have a taste and see if it's uh, bitter enough. Otherwise, they, I mean, sour enough. Then you can add. Some of the leftover lemon in there. Yep. Okay. All right. Let the little bit yeah, of that out. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like that? Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Like that. Have you done this before, Rebecca? <laughs> Put that in. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so now we're cutting up some coriander. Ooh, no chef Look at this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Next minute, when Savvy I... Savvy Hospital stitches. Oh, you don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we may just stitch it at home. Alright, is that all of that in? Yeah, all of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. You want to try with, the, with that have... spoon? You want to try a little bit? This see is the flavor of the. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this looks good. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. Thanks. Heaven on earth. <laughs> Heaven on earth. What she said. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. That is. That is so good that it's not even funny. Next level good. So. So if you've watched the video this far, thank you very much. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed this. I would seriously suggest making this. If I even didn't live here and I knew how to do this or someone had showed me how to do this, I'd be doing this back in Australia for sure. So thanks for tuning in. Abby, thanks so much for teaching us how to do this. Sala and Kelly, thanks for, for helping us out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys.